Hi students, welcome back to the channel. So in this session, we are going to cover most important and expected questions on cascading style sheets that will help you qualify your job interview, college level examination as well as if you all are preparing for any competitive examination, then this lecture series will definitely help you. So this is our lecture number 38 and students, if you forgot to watch previous 37 important lectures, you can check the description box. Now let's just move to the question number one of this lecture that says which CSS property add shadow to text so in cascading style sheet whenever you write any text let's say you have written a text in heading section in paragraph section or any other tag you have used if you want that particular if you want if you want to add shadow to that particular text then what property you should use options are content shadow text shadow word shadow or text outline so as you can see here text outline is not the correct answer so we will definitely reject this so correct answer here is text shadow we are not going to give shadow to the whole content that we have added in our website we are just going to give we are just going to add the shadow to some particular text let's say i have written one paragraph that is in 40 font size arial is the text format that we have used now i want it uh and let's say the color of the paragraph is by default red okay now if you want to add text so you can write the text shadow property like this text shadow 1px 2px and green so the text shadow will be in the green color if you want to use black color yellow color whatever color you want you can write over here okay one pixel and two pixel is nothing but this is the width and height of the shadow next question is which css property is used to specify the space between the words in a text so as you can see this is a simple question this is a simple statement you can see here the space between the text is 0.1 approximately okay now if we want to increase or decrease or if you want to specify some particular points over here so what property you should use in cascading style sheet so options here are word spacing word padding word height or character spacing so very important question we have discussed everything in the lecture series so correct answer is option number one that is word spacing so we want space between the words in a particular text so correct answer is word spacing okay word spacing property you can write it as word spacing 10 px let's take an example over here as you can see here this is the by default word spacing now if you want to increase or decrease this space you can write it as let's say we have written this in p tag okay this is our paragraph and here we have closed it okay for this you can write it as word spacing colon 5px is enough okay now the output for this particular statement would be like this which let me just write it over here which css property is used to specify like this okay the output would be like this the space between these words is now 5 pixels here in example I have mentioned 10 pixels so you can imagine the spacing between these words okay so I hope this is clear to all of you next question is which CSS property is used to specify uppercase and lowercase letters in the text so uppercase means let's say I have written Ankita here that is my name okay I have written A N K I T A Ankita here now A N K I T A now you want to specify uppercase 
like this and lower case like this so what property you should use so text transform text case case or text casing so correct answer is text transform that means we are here to transform the text let's take an example i have written ankita in small letters in lower case letters now if i want to convert these to capital letters so i can use text transform property so paragraph text transform upper case lower case capitalize okay everything is very easy here if you have your paragraph in small letters in lower case then you should give text reform property text transform property to upper case and if you already have paragraph in upper case letters then you can write text transform to lower case so what is the meaning of capitalize capitalize we will cover in next question so you can see here which is the correct css statement to capitalize the first letter of each word so first letter of each word means i would i want to write it as which is the correct statement means in every word first letter is capital if you want a statement like this then what you can write is text transform capitalize for upper case write it as upper case okay so correct answer is option number b you can write it as like this okay everything is clear to you next question says what are the valid values of text transform property so text transform property we have discussed three questions on this particular topic we have covered all are very important we have already uh, we have already done everything practically right so text transform property include upper case lower case and capitalize okay so correct answer is option number 1 upper case lower case and capitalize just you need to write text transform lower case you can use only one property at a particular time you can't use any of uh, you can't use more than one property right what are the valid values of text decoration property so text decoration is nothing but it helps us to make our text more attractive we can uh, we can add underline we can give it alignment all these things are taken under the property of text decoration so options are overline line through underline and none overline strike line through underline and none so correct answer is option number v obviously if you want overline let's say this is if you want overline like this line through means line through also called strike okay next we have is underline this is the example of underline okay uh, students uh, remember one point in case of cascading style sheet whenever you want whenever you want line through you always need to write text decoration line through property okay but in case of html whenever you want this type of output you can just simply use s tag s here means strike through tag okay so whatever you you will write in between these tags the line will go through the particular word or particular statement okay so what are the valid values overline line through and underline okay how you can use it let's say i have h1 h1 my class okay close this h1 now i want h sorry write it as h1 then text dash decoration try to write everything in small letters over line semicolon okay so your output will be my class over line correct if you 
गिव ओवर लाइन की जगह पर लाइन थ्रू लाइन डैश थ्रू सो योर आंसर विल बी माई क्लास लाइन थ्रू करेक्ट Next question is which CSS property specifies how to align the last line of the text. So to align the last line, you can write text align last. Okay, so text align last, you can give it properties right, left, whatever you want. Which CSS property sets the vertical alignment of the text? So for vertical alignment, you can write vertical align. Okay, vertical align, baseline. Whatever you want, you can add the different properties here. Next question is, okay, which CSS property sets the vertical alignment of an? We have discussed this. What are the valid values of vertical align property? So its valid values include baseline, text top, text bottom, sub or super. Okay, so we have discussed here vertical align baseline so you can give all these values here okay like vertical align write it as text top okay what is the meaning of sub and super sub means subscript super means superscript okay if you want to write a square you want this particular any particular word any particular number at the top then you can write superscript if you want any particular word or number in the bottom like h2o so this is sub this is subscript okay so i hope this session you uh, you will like the session so thanks for watching